everyone, Shannon Morse back again at DEF CON 27, and I have another badge maker here, Seraph. Thank you for joining Hello. me. It's so nice to have you over here at a booth. I, um, nice I to actually, be here. so I saw your badge on hashtag Batch Life on Twitter, and I was freaking obsessed with it because I used to watch Stargate SG1 myself as a you know growing child. So much so that I obsessively learned the theme song, which there are lyrics to that which I Which was a you. surprise to me. <laughs> I taught him the lyrics when I met him, uh, what was that, yesterday? Yeah. And got the badge from you, so thank you for the badge. You're welcome. Um, so I wanted to talk to you today about how you built your badge as well as how you built your watch because I love these mods. They're amazing. And your inspirations. I think they're beautiful. Yeah. So thank you. Tell me about how you got into badge making in the first place. So, um, uh, there's a local hacker space in Austin, or local hacker group. Uh, one of the guys there, Amadis, uh, built a laser tag badge, like with actual lasers, Whoa. Uh, about two years ago. Cool. And while he was building it, uh, he was helping me, or teaching me, like a lot of the uh, hardware work yeah. with it. He taught me most of everything I've done for hardware. That's awesome. And uh, he was pulled in the badge life because of that. And so I was kind of grandfathered in, just kind of slipped, slipped under the radar, and no one seemed to really notice that I yeah. wasn't actually making a badge. I was just kind of learning and doing stuff. Um, then uh, last year at uh, one of the badge meets, uh, I was given a challenge coin by uh, one of the goons who's also an Austin local for, oh, cool. for Badge Life. And as soon as I got this, I realized it's time to start pulling my weight and actually make a badge. And I had just That's finished tough. watching SG-1 for the first time for last first year. Time? I was late coming into that party. Hey, that's okay. But you know, you're joining It became my favorite uh, TV show, like, of all time. Yes, that's amazing. So, I, I just it. figured, let's do a Stargate badge. So, this is your first badge? This that is my very made. first badge, yes. Did you find that actually getting into badge making was tough, or did you find, like, you had to climb over it a hill to learn? It would have been very difficult, if not for the badge making community out here. Yeah. Um, there are a ton of people who gave me all kinds of tips. Uh, I'm going to butcher his handle because I always butcher his handle. Mr. Twinkle Twinkie. Oh, Twinkle Twinkie. Yes, yes him, him. Him. He made the best tutorials ever on how to make like shitty add-on like add-on boards. Just the, the same method I used to make my badge. Yeah. And as well as Hackaday's uh, Borgel um, was kind enough to also give me his phone number and we chatted for about an hour or so about how to actually do overseas manufacturing, which I cool. never have done before either. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about overseas manufacturing all day long, trust oh, me. Oh, I'm sure. We know. Yes, we do. You heard about the Hack5 products? Yeah, that's a thing. So, obviously, your inspiration was Stargate. Indeed. SG-1 specifically? Um, I just finished SG-1 at that time, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Very yeah. cool. Now, I noticed that on the front of this, the art is very, very accurate. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, how did you end up like developing such a nice, accurate representation of the Stargate? So, I wish I could take credit for that. Uh, I was very lucky in oh. the fact that the Stargate official wiki had a nice SVG of the gate yes. that I just copied and oh. turned into a PCB. Oh my gosh, I love fans. Yeah. Oh, they're the best. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get it to look nearly as nice without that. And it has a few it. modes on it, correct? Uh, uh, yeah, there are two. Uh, yeah. Most of the badges are only flashed with the one mode because it was suggested that I put the other one in after I already shipped them all off. Oh. So I've been trying to reflash as many badges as I can here at Con, which yeah. so far has only been two. <laughs> so <laughs> but, what's the mode that it comes with? So the mode that it comes with, uh, basically you uh, push down the button once and it'll dial the sequence for Abydos. Cool. Uh, after <laughs> it finishes the, oh yeah, the, the seventh symbol for Earth, uh, it lights up like a little animation to bring the wormhole up. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the first mode, and that's pretty much all it does. The other mode is uh, an automated uh, doing it every three minutes without a button press. Oh, smart. Very so, smart. So, not my idea, and I wish I thought of that earlier because it's super useful. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, are you going to have these for sale, or will people be able to find them online or anything? So, I've had a lot of people actually ask me about that. Yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of SG-1 fans there out there. are. I'm probably going to do a second run of these. Cool. Um, it may take a month or two because sourcing things from China tends to take a while. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> but there seems to be enough interest to do it, so I'll probably make one more run of these and then be done with this uh, model for a while. Now let's talk about your watch. Yes. What is this called? Uh, I call it the Brotherhood of Steel watch. Brotherhood of Steel. 
I love it. Okay, so walk me through the process on this. Looks like it's 3D printed. The case is, yes. The case is 3D printed. Okay, so what's um, happening on the inside of this? So on the inside, it's actually running the same processor as both my Stargate badge and the badge for DEF CON this year, oh. the NXP KL27. Cool. Um, so this watch has a compass, uh, GPS, so it will set itself, pick up what time zone it's in. Wow. Uh, Built-in battery charger, a laser, and a TV remote that I have the hardware for but never got around to coding. What? Yeah. That's amazing. Wow, uh, okay. It's got a bunch of other features in it as well as... Do you as, uh, switch to the different modes yes. with the little... So all the switches dials. up top are... Actually, it's binary. Oh. So the bottom switch is command mode, and then it's just straight up binary numbers. So if you want mode two, you would flip the second switch, flip it back, now it's oh, in mode is, two. That's brilliant. Yeah. So I wanted it to look like it came from Fallout, because yeah. I it, love it really Fallout does, yeah. a lot. Uh, so I picked a display they stopped making in the 90s that was common in the 70s. Oh, wow. And uh, big old switches for it. And so. I love the bubble numbers up here. Me too. They're Those were so pretty. Hard to get a hold of. But they look really like yeah. they look like heck of vintage. Yeah, like they're old seventies calculator bubbles, basically. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. Well, if people want to like build one of their own, are you gonna show folks how to do that? Yeah, I've uh, open sourced everything awesome. uh, for this project, and as soon as I get back on Monday, when I have access to my SSH keys again, yeah. I'll be open sourcing the Stargate badge as well. Oh yay! Cool. So they'll be on GitHub and my own uh, website. And where can people find those? Uh, so my website is randomhackery.net with a hyphen <laughs> between random and hackery. Nice, I like that. Um, and there's a GitHub link there. And if you want to just hit GitHub itself, it's, uh, the username is Count Murphy, which is one of my older handles from like high school that I never <laughs> dropped. I have one of those too. Yeah. It's, it just like kind of sticks around forever. Yeah, exactly. And can people hit you up on Twitter too if they have yeah, any questions? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, I'm cool. at Keeper of Bits. Awesome. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. It was so good to have you on. Really appreciate it. Thank your you time. for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I mean, I can't wait to see what you come up with for thank next you. year's me Batch too. Life because that's going to be really fun. Love the modes on this one and I can't wait to flash mine so that it will go every three minutes. Already has it. Oh, really? All the, yeah. Mine was one of the ones Yours was flash. one of the ones that I didn't ship off. You're amazing. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah. cool. If y'all have questions, of course, leave them in the comments below and make sure to check them out over on Twitter. Thank you again. Thank really you. Really appreciate your time. And of course, oh, I pressed a button. <laughs> it's good. It's fine. It's, it's binary. Good. It's all good. <laughs> For more content from DEF CON, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash hack5. Trust your technologist. Badge life. Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names hosting an email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think Domain.com.